Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. I am Janos Waika Hulo, UD English Language Second Year. So, I am here in video to make a learning material about our course language. So, what am I doing today is to make a learning material about a, a traditional learning material about one figures of language or figures of speech so here's are the materials I need to yeah but I'm to fulfill my path so here's my marker to write and blue and cartolina which serves which serves as my visual aid and construction materials as my designing purposes so here we go.
today, we're, we're done making a materials about my learning visual aids. So, figurative language. What is the figurative language or speech uh, or figures of speech? It is a, it serves as an excellent tool and something we encounter daily that helps us to convey to convey complex descriptions or emotions quickly and effectively. It is also referred to as figures of speech. It, figurative language can be utilized to persuade, engage, and connect with with the audience and to amplify your intended message. Here's our examples of the figurative language or figurative speech. So first one is a um, simile. It is a comparison between the two unlike things using words like as or that or done. It is also realized the compassion and the words and the audience ability to create connections so the, so the example is my here's the example my dog as, as a bark as a louder as thunder so simile is when you com compare you, you compare you the two things using like then so it it is automatically as simile so the second one is metaphor it is a direct comparison without using the word like or as. Unlike simile, metaphors is also it is also in comparison but without using like. So that's the difference between the two the two one figurative figures of speech examples. So like the example is the metaphor is her smile is the sunrise. So that's it. So the third one is one personification. It is attributing human to non-human things. To attributing human to non-human things to make them more relatable. So the example is the chair is squeezed in pain when the hammer smash. When the hammer smash it. So, personification is one. It's like comparing non-human to human. So, so the, the fourth one is onomatopoeia. It is the use of descript descriptive words that the sounds mimic the, the noise that they, are, that they are describing. So, Example is my stomach grumble in hunger as we enter the, res the restaurant. So, onomatopoeia is that one is the is like a um, um, describing your one the sounds or your mimics of the surroundings. So that's it. The the last one is hyperbole. Hyperbole is an over exaggeration used to emphasize an emotion or descriptions. It is like a simile or metaphor, but it is. But the difference of the hyperbole is very exaggerated in descripting in one thing. So here's an ex here's the example: the loud silence of night keeps him awake. So. It is impossible, it is more impossible than compared to simile and metaphor. So that's it for the, our lessons for the traditional about figurative language. So what is the importance of using a um, figurative language? It is because if we use figurative language to express our ideas, emotions, and, pers and perspectives through through you know, and in, 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 not not literally speak not literally speaking it is very important to describe you to describe how to describe yourself 
in quant in general so so the, 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 the important of the traditional learning is it is a low cost only or maybe you can use a recycled materials without any cost because it is your surround it is your surroundings only so it is also an eco-friendly because you can recycle any materials with 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 one without any waste cause of quant pollution na makasave um, in the other words you can save one you can save our environment during these times of pollution so one and it is also and to maximize our and to test our what creativity one what is our uh, so we taste and maximize our creativity that's all of the one thank you and god bless